AI explained in 12 minutes. Chapter 6. The energy cost of AI. Every time you ask AI a question, that request is sent to a data center and processed by thousands of AI chips because the hardware in our phones and laptops isn't powerful enough to do it. These data centers need two things to operate. First, they need electricity to run. In 2024, data centers use 2% of the world's electricity, but this number is for all data centers that keep the internet running. We don't know what share of that can be attributed to AI alone. It's estimated that a single AI request uses 10 times more energy than a standard search. But this estimate is based on AI models from 2023, which are much smaller than the ones we have today. Second, they need cooling systems to prevent overheating. Most cooling systems use fresh water, and the average data center consumes 300,000 gallons of water every day, which is equivalent to 19,000 showers. And depending on the cooling method used, Data centers may lose some or all of this water and need constant replenishment. Unfortunately, we don't have precise or reliable numbers for how much energy or water AI uses alone. Because tech companies aren't revealing the size of their newest AI models, what we do know is that AI developments and usage are likely to keep increasing over the next few years, which will require more data centers, aka more electricity and water than before. Thankfully, some solutions are starting to emerge to make AI more energy efficient. And here are three you should know about. First, we could run AI on our personal devices instead of data centers because they've been getting more powerful hardware. This is called edge AI, and we're already seeing signs of it. For example, the new iPhone can run basic AI features on your device directly without sending those requests to a data center. Another solution is called model distillation. The idea is to create smaller models based on large models to make them more energy efficient and cost efficient for specific tasks, because we don't always need the biggest and most advanced model if a task is simple. The same way we don't need a Formula One car to deliver a pizza. Finally, the AI chips and data centers are getting more efficient, which means they need less energy to produce the same output. Over the past eight years, the energy cost to generate one token on an NVIDIA GPU went down from 17,000 joules to 0 0.4.